just beautiful being out here at sea. This is the reason why we come out here time after time is just moments like this to watch the sunrise and a nice quiet morning. Gotta love cruising. It is early morning. Jill is still just getting out of bed so I thought I would come up and catch a little bit of a time lapse for the sunrise this morning as we're heading into the Bahamas this morning on our way to Half Moon Key. What have we got here this morning? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Breakfast. What did you do? Breakfast in bed this morning on our way to Half Moon Key. Looks like we've got some pastries and some fresh fruit and a little bit of a breakfast. What do they call that? This is called the American breakfast. The American breakfast. And this is called the continental breakfast. Oh, and the continental breakfast, I see. Mm -hmm. Yes, and a little bit of tea for Jerry, and some coffee for Jill. So we're going to go and enjoy our breakfast here as we get ready for Half Moon Key. Uh, we're not quite here yet. Maybe we can take a look at the window, but uh, we're closing in. Lots of uh, ocean still in front of us. So I think I can just barely see Half Moon Key. We should be there soon. Oh my god. What? I'm putting sunscreen on. <laughs> Do you have enough on? I'm bumping it in. Well, we're just pulling into Half Moon Key now. They've just raised the flag on the bow of the ship and we've finished packing. We've had breakfast already, captured a sunset already. Yeah, you've been busy this morning. It's been a busy morning for sure. I've even put sunscreen on, which for me is a monumental task. But it is a challenge. Not because there's so much of me to cover. <laughs> just it never rubs into my skin. <laughs> That's because he puts on around five times the amount you need. I haven't been able to convince him that a little dab will do you. <laughs> yes, I'm much paler when I'm done putting sunscreen on. It never rubs in. So what can you do? Some people are just impermeable. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so that's it. We're gonna grab some water from uh, one of the local bars on the way down to the tender. Yes. And then we'll see you on the beach. See you soon. Bye bye. Bye. Good, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Have a good day. Thank, Thank you. you. Good morning. Good morning. How are you this morning? Very good. Good morning. Yep, we're on our way to snorkel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so Thank, Thank you. You, you too. All the crew is so friendly here on New Staten Dumb. Mm -hmm. Looks like we're using the stairs. here at Half Moon Key and we are making our way to do a little bit of snorkeling. If you want to get to the fish first, then uh, come right off the tender and you're going past uh, the main gate. The excursions are on your left and uh, just go past the crowds there and take an immediate left. That'll put you towards a little sign that says water sports but then turn left again on this road that you can see me on here. It's kind of a utility road, but it's kind of a back way that brings you out and immediately right to the beach where the best snorkeling is over by the uh, children's playground. And I'll swing it around and show you.
heading into the ocean at Half Moon Key. Now, for those that don't know, Jill is the brave one. She's already out there heading towards the fish. Now, she tries to get all the good fish footage on her GoPro. We'll see how that goes today. We were here a few days ago and there was lots of fish and there was even a battery of barracuda. So Jill's taking off all the shiny jewelry today because she doesn't want to become bait for the barracuda. And uh, I am watching out for those little tiny silver fishes because that seems to be what the barracuda are trying to eat from what we can tell. And uh, let's see what we find. Somebody must have it rented today. There's staff there that are getting it uh, ready to go for someone. So we're just going to stay a little bit away from that, but uh, continue looking for the fish. Oh, the water isn't too cold, especially for Canadians. It just takes a, a second to get used to. I think it's be one of those days that you get in the water and eventually we get used to it, the water will feel uh, warmer than the air. So it is a little bit breezy today, so hopefully the wind isn't making a lot of noise on the camera here. Let's take a quick look at the Grand Cabana I was talking about. It's right here, right in front of me. filming a couple of crabs and birds along the rocky edge of the Grand Cabana. So she must be getting some good fish out there. She's been gone for quite a while and uh, is almost out to the edge of the buoys there. Can't wait to see the footage. And so there was an exchange of fire. At the end of the day, both sides either want to find any type of advantage over the other. They battle for days. And then one night, one guy, a bunch of predators, is stuck in behind the main harbor here, over in the lagoon that's just behind the main beach. In the middle of the night, he snuck aboard the Rotterdam. All in America, and in doing that, he managed to take control of the All in America fleet. At that point, he all began to surrender to the From this day forward, that's why All in America is part of the global corporation. Little known fact, right here, how to be pushed into these small rounds. We are going to get an update. It's phenomenal. Phenomenal. Yeah. It's a report. It's right out there. Jill is headed back out for round two of looking for fish here in Half Moon Key. Get behind the uh, pirate ship there. 
there is where they have the uh, buffet set up. And I believe that's at 11.30 today. Sometimes 11, 11.30, just depends. And uh, Mall of America puts on a pretty good spread. For Private Island, we were really impressed the last time we were here, so we're looking forward to doing that today at 11.30. And then in behind that is the uh, lagoon area, and that's where they have some of the water sports back in there. They have, uh, I believe, sea dews, and we may wander that way a little bit later on and find out what exactly is back in the lagoon. So stay with us. I'm going to see how Jill is making out with her fish net. my first ever Osmo action underwater footage. I know this camera is underwater, that's why we bring it out to the beach and let the waves smash into it and don't worry about the rain, but uh, never actually fully submerged it until just now. So we'll see how that fish footage looks. I'm sure it's not as good as Jill's. Uh, I just saw a bunch of those little silver fish and thought I'd dive the camera down below and see how it looks. So hopefully it came out okay. Well, we are finished swim part two, even better snorkeling, yeah. and we have been found. Other people here have now recognized us as Canadians with our accent. <laughs> Do we have an accent? Apparently. What is our, what's our accent? I don't know. Apparently we have one. What do you think it is, eh? <laughs> eh? I don't think I said that when I was speaking. What's that all about? <laughs> Anna, what is a Canadian accent? I'm sure I don't have an accent. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section below if I sound funny. Now I'm self-conscious. I gotta turn this camera off. This is one of the cannons that we used in that great Carnival versus Holland America battle several decades ago for control of the cruise ship industry. Come on in. We are climbing to the top of Captain Morgan on the rocks, the pirate ship here at Half Moon Key. And check out the color of that water. Isn't that something? I can even go one level higher. Let's go all the way to the top. There she is. New Staten Dom in the distance. And here we are, up on top. We're leaving Captain Morgan's and we're going to go and see if the buffet is close to open. It's 11 o'clock. Jill thought it was open at 11.30, but uh, we'll check and see. This is a fruit salad of some sort. Fruit salad. Quite Mixed tropical that. fruits, I believe that is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Too many choices. I, uh, I'm gonna have uh, the jerk chicken on a bun though with some lettuce and tomato, please. All right. Jerk chicken, some lettuce and tomato. That is the key lime cupcakes. Oh, maybe that was the banana cupcakes, was it? This is the key lime. Chocolate. Uh, so I'm gonna try the cheeseburger. Yeah. This is short ribs it said. Yeah. This is a mango salsa salad, I believe. Yeah. Am I right? And this is some sort of fruit salad. Right on. And I have the jerk chicken on a bun with a bit of lettuce and tomato and mayo. And we're gonna give that a try. And this is just round one, I believe. Okay. Back for dessert. Lunch round two. What do you have this time? This is a jerk chicken breast that she dipped in barbecue sauce and put on a bun. Oh. It was the, the uh, server's recommendation. And I'm having dessert. 
We're sharing both of these things. Oh, she thinks I'm sharing. We got a chocolate muffin. Cupcake. <laughs> I always want to call them muffins. Oh, yeah. Key lime cupcake. cupcake. <laughs> and chocolate banana. Cupcake. Cupcake. No muffins, all cupcakes. Maybe we'll like it. Sometimes I think banana as a muffin more than a cupcake, but yeah. It's very complicated. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Jill's Cupcake Muffin Review. <laughs> Which one are you eating first? I'm going to try this banana one because I haven't tried this one before. Mm, banana first. Here we go. Chocolate on the inside. Heading into Jill's mouth any second here. No, no. Well, the camera's <laughs> on it, isn't it? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Out of ten. Five. What? Yeah, not my favorite. Oh. Devastating for the whole America cooks. That's probably your favorite though. <laughs> okay. Muffin cupcake number two. Chocolate. Out of ten? Mm, that one's better. Probably around an eight. Eight. So a five for banana. Eight for chocolate. Now the headliner, the key lime pie. I had this one before and loved it, so I'm sure this will be good. Definitely my favorite. Out of 10? Yeah, 10. 10, we got a perfect 10. There you go, Jill's Cupcake Muffin Review. The key lime pie is the one to go with. There you have it, folks. Well, we are freshly fed and hydrated going on a bit of an adventure to see if we can find the lagoon where we suspect there's some water sports and some more water. Stick with us, show you what we find. You okay, found the lagoon? Yeah. yeah. What do you think? For snorkeling potential. Too murky, Jill says, for snorkeling. Okay. Back to the water? Yes. Water mode. Here we come. I don't think I've ever seen a sea dew turned into a box planter full of flowers. We have found water. The noisy side by sides that are going to run Jill over. Back walking the beach. See over my shoulder there, there's some of the cabanas that are available to rent. There's two-story ones, there's little single ones. Beautiful white sand here. So soft on the toes, it's unbelievable. No, it's not rubbed in. What do you think, guys? Do you think he's got it rubbed in? Because he thought he was done. So I think it's done. You tell me. Do you think it's rubbed in? Ready? I think you might want to rub a little bit more. Or is it not rubbed in? Everywhere. You look like a, sa a snowman right now. Does anything look more perfect ever? White sand beach. Cold frozen margarita. A pirate ship. Beautiful turquoise water with the new stock dock off in the distance here. What a day. I purchased this margarita, so on Half Moon Key, you can purchase drinks with your ship card. Uh, we have the drink package on the ship, but it does not work on the island. However, unlike some of the other cruise lines that do stop here, Holland America offers the opportunity to buy a one-day drink pass. I believe it is around between $25 and $30, maybe $30. I'll put it down below if I can find it when I uh, publish this video. But uh, yeah. So you do have the options to have a drink package. I think the 15 drink limit would apply if you had that uh, day pass here for drinks. But uh, so far, just one drink. So it's cheaper for me to have single margarita and get back to the ship than uh, having the drink package. But it is an option. So lots of options here on Half Moon Key. Update from the water on the margarita. Jill's not happy with it. Worst She's... margarita I've ever tried. <laughs> it says it's not great. It tastes like... It's like a slushy. Fresh ice. It doesn't... <laughs> You can't taste any alcohol, you definitely can't taste any lime. Oh, wow. Yeah. Our taste buds are going. Yeah. <laughs> Not bad, sorry. I was able to taste lunch just fine. It's just this drink. Yeah. And the other update is I have been considering my Canadian accent a lot. Who knew? Canadian accents. 
Where are we going to now, honey? We're going back to the ship? Okay. Fun fact for everybody that comes to Half Moon Key. If you take a look out at the water from the beach, and you see land on the very right side at the far end, and you look to the ship, and halfway in between that point, or between those points on the, in the water, in the distance you can see, sometimes on a clear day, princess ships out there parked at Princess Key. So it's straight out uh, from our view here at Half Moon Key. Update on Half Moon Key. We were thinking of heading to the ship, but Jill's decided that the snorkeling is so good here, there are so many fish that she can't leave yet. So we are going in for an unprecedented fourth time in the water, third time snorkeling, and we'll see what uh, we find this time. to see what is the most popular type of swimsuit for men on the beach here. Uh, I am a trunks type of guy and I am going to Europe next summer for a cruise and so the speedo is in the back of my mind. Here at Half Moon Key I would say that we have about a 98% swim trunks, the traditional ones I wear. And then I'd say we have 1% that are the true speedos. I have seen a couple on the beach today. And I think there's also 1%, but it's kind of a hybrid. It looks like a trunk, but it's tight fitting as well. So 98% trunks, I'm fitting in this time, but I'm not sure that's going to be the case next summer in Europe. Well, it appears that we are done with snorkeling today after our third attempt. I say our. So I did try to get some footage with the uh, DG Osmo action camera that I'm holding here. Uh, this is the GoPro Joe was using, and she managed to get some more footage as well, but uh, I think we're heading back to the beach, gathering our stuff, and heading back to the ship. Okay, oh, yeah. back through security. Sorry, I'm sorry to let you get around me. <laughs> heading back to the tender. Here we go. cleaned up from snorkeling in Afternoon K and we are heading up to the cabana to see if we can salvage a little bit of the afternoon, find a cold drink and maybe even a snack. See you up there. So we checked in at the cabana and we have decided to order some pizza. So I'm down here at the New York Deli and Pizzeria waiting for our pizza. I finally think I got that art in my camera that you can see it looks like a face. Oh, really? When you push a button? <laughs> I got it. What elbow is it for? Seven. Sugar deck. It is not. <laughs> it's not the sugar deck? No. Let's see. Listen to it. Listen closely. It's the sugar deck. No, it isn't. Deck seven. Sugar deck. Deck seven. Sugar deck. It's Shuba. a sugar, sugar deck. Shuba. Two drinks for Jill and for Jerry. <laughs> Good afternoon, time check. It is 4.15, 4.20, somewhere after 4 o'clock, but not quite 5 o'clock. We have our dinner reservations are 5 o'clock on this ship. But I wanted to show something that we have done for almost 20 years of cruising now. It's kind of become a routine after all these years, and that is uh, we have uh, you know pre-dinner cocktails. We've talked about that and shown some some video so far, but uh, we have a routine in the room as we get ready that we kind of get ourselves you know pumped up for the evening. Uh, we fire up a little bit of music. Uh, Jill does a lot of girl stuff, doing makeup, curling hair. I do a lot of boy stuff such as 
arguing over how tight the nice fitting clothes are and I make sure that I have a, a glass of uh, rye and uh, coke on the go and Jill also has a, a bit of a drink too let's see if we can find it not much left there today. she's almost through her drink and no wonder putting up with me trying to figure out what I'm gonna wear and uh, of course the uh, the rye and coke and for all you folks that aren't Canadian we'll call this Canadian whiskey and coke for you and uh, there's some important elements to this uh, pre-dinner routine <laughs> and uh, one is the laying out of Jerry's clothes <laughs> and then the ensuing debate as to whether or not Jerry will be wearing those clothes based on how much food Jerry has eaten in the days of the cruise leading up to this point and then there is also the all-important room snacks and let's just take a look here we've got the wine gums there always needs to be a snack brought from home just a tradition sometimes they're mints they're usually wine gums they're jube jubes you name it whatever we decide to throw in our luggage and bring it with us just to have something to nibble on there's lots of food on the ship and we're never starving but it just is part of the the routine i guess and i'm not sure if you have any routines that are similar to that but uh, yeah that is uh, our little uh setup that we do before dinner anything that i miss joel that uh... the one thing i would say that I like the best about our pre-dinner getting ready is Jerry always brings his music and it sort of gets us oh. up for the evening of music. I forgot so to I show a that. a little bit low tonight. It's very quiet oh, as he's I, I don't. I don't want the YouTube copyright police to come uh, get me. Right. But yeah, <laughs> music usually is a big part of it. Makes you sort of feel like you're ready to get out and have a good time. Lots of kind of cruise ship Latin music, you know, that type of thing. I've got a you know, usually on this ship, the Wi-Fi is so good. I've actually got Spotify running our music. This is the first time ever I've done that. And we always have the portable yeah, speaker. To little spe and and, well, all of Holland America, really. Yeah, yeah the, the internet is pretty their amazing. So. Is amazing. So that's how we get our music now. We just have to save all kinds of playlists and bring them with us and you know, that old school. But uh, now we're just streaming our music. So anyways, that is the pre-dinner routine that we go through here. The, comment below. Let me know if there's anything that you do that you kind of fall into routine that kind of makes it feel like home. And uh, yeah, for us, this is well, one thing we look forward to every day is this pre-dinner routine. So, okay, gonna go get ready. Gonna debate the clothing that I'm gonna be wearing and we'll see you in a bit. Hi everyone. We're here at Holland America's private island, Half Moon. He, Not for long. Looks like we're pulling out any we're second. We're about to leave. We've had a beautiful day of snorkeling, at least my favorite kind of day. Love snorkeling and the beach and the water. It's gorgeous. Lots of fish footage for sure. Yes. And we came back and we ran up to the cabana. We enjoyed a couple books. Yeah. One each. Yeah. And uh, I had a, we had a little bit of a pizza snack as well. And yeah, I we did. I think I showed you that already. And uh, yeah, grabbed uh, some uh, champagne that's provided daily in our cabana and brought it back down to the room with another drink possibly. And uh, did our pre-dinner routine and now we are getting ready to head to the main dining room for dinner. Yes, we're going to have a lovely evening and uh, follow along, see yep. what we get up to. Here we go, time to eat again. <laughs> Off to dinner. We're not sure what corridor to take. There's two options. Hmm. I always like to take the trail less traveled. That's just me. I should turn this around so you can see Jill's fancy hairdo tonight. Oh, that hairdo. Put the down one. I'm hoping. Yep, it's down. It's down. There's the fancy hairdo going in the elevator. Seven sugar decks.
good stuff. Manitoba, Canada. Well, I thought I'd come to the New York Deli and Pizza and grab some snacks for the room this evening. They have uh, sliders and wings and stuff like that, but it seems that they don't serve them until 9 p.m. So I'm not sure we're gonna stay up that late to uh, get some wings and sliders and some nibbles, but uh, we'll see. Deck seven, shoot a deck. Ooh, we got mail. And... A turtle, I think. A new towel animal? Turtle? Turtle? I believe so. Yes. And two chocolates. And luggage direct sign up for only second day of the cruise. Man, that awful. Mm -hmm. And tomorrow we're at sea. Well, good evening. Hi, everyone. Well, it's a bit of an early evening, but we did do a few things. Yes. We had a wonderful meal. Yes. Yes. What'd you have? You had a steak. Mm, a very good steak, yes. Mm, nice sure. zucchini spaghetti as I continue to work my way through the vegetarian menu. Mm -hmm. I had something off the veggie menu tonight, yes. too. Yes. I had the veggie spring rolls that mm -hmm. were with the peanut sauce. Delicious. Mm -hmm. And I cheated and had something not off the be veggie menu. Mm -hmm. I had the coconut crusted meatballs, I believe mm -hmm. they, were. Yeah. they were. They were good too. So after dinner, we walked around a little bit. Uh, we stopped in the Dutch cafe and grabbed a couple of cookies. We went to Lincoln Center. We listened to the pianist and the string. Yeah, at Lincoln. At Lincoln Center. Yes. And then uh, we did a little bit of poking around the shops tonight. Yes, so we're going to get rested up tonight and uh, and then, uh, yeah. Have a sea day tomorrow. Yeah, we had a lot of outside time today, which is lovely. Um, but a lot of sun, a lot of ocean, a lot of water. And so mm -hmm. tonight's going to be a very casual, relaxing evening. Yeah. <laughs> Cruise hair don't care, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, so that's it for this evening. We're going to probably relax, maybe watch a bit of a movie, as we call it a night. A wonderful... Um, movies on demand here with the uh, Holland America ships. We really enjoy that when you when you want to crash for the evening and uh, watch something you can it's kind of like a uh, it's, it's like any other PBR Netflix thing where you can kind of pause a movie and then catch up on it tomorrow night or the night after or even the next yeah. morning if you have a half hour to kill you don't have to watch it all in one big shot. So yeah we're like three days into one movie so yeah. hopefully we'll finish it Yeah tonight. so we don't watch movies like in a room all we just watch it when we're in here for an hour or two or you know getting ready for something. Yeah Yeah, we're not big into watching TV. There, we have literally been on cruise ships where we haven't turned the TV on yeah. once but yeah. all in America makes that a little bit more tempting with all of their movies movies that they have on demand. For sure, yeah. So, so that's it for tonight and uh, thanks for joining us today. Have a busy day and uh, tomorrow we'll join you for a relaxing sea day and it's also formal night or gala night they call it in Holland America. Sure. So as we march our way closer to New Year's of 2022. Yeah. So take care everybody. Good night. Good night everyone. Bye bye.